Hey guys, this is Rachel from Cypress Textiles and today I'm going to be showing you how to work the Celtic Lace Mini 2 join. Um, this is the official join for the 2020 VV Cal and um, it's a really fun join. I have several different uh, iterations of the Celtic Lace join that I released long ago and you can see all that at cypresstextiles.net or if you just do a search for Celtic Lace join um, and this one is Celtic Lace Mini number two. So I'm gonna get started with these squares here that I finished from the 2020 VV Cow. And we're just gonna start with one of these squares and I'm gonna add some rounds to it. And then I'm gonna join as you go and I'll show you how to do that. So first, I'm gonna take this square. It's like the top left corner of the blanket. Um, it really doesn't matter where you start. As long, once you see, you'll get the hang of it and you can start at, at whatever corner on the blanket. So we're gonna start by attaching our joining yarn in the corner stitch with a slip stitch. So just do a slip stitch join right in the corner. And we're gonna make a single crochet round around our square. So just in that same stitch, you're gonna put three single crochet and then you're just gonna work single crochet in all of the stitches around, making sure to put three singles in each of the remaining three corners. All right, and then work single crochet in all of these stitches back to the beginning. So that's pretty simple, so I'll just show you mine when it's okay, done. So you can see just the first single crochet round here, and I made a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round to close it, and then in the very next stitch is gonna be the corner stitch, and that's where you're gonna start with your next round. So you're not gonna work into the joining uh, single crochet, but the next one. So it's the center of the three single corner. And you're gonna go in with a beginning DC, which is just a single crochet, go straight in without joining up, I mean, without uh, chaining up. So just go straight into that stitch and bring up your loop for your single crochet and make a chain one, and that's gonna be the first DC of the round. Now chain two, that's your chain two space, and then go ahead and work one uh, double crochet in that same stitch. So that's your corner. And now you're gonna skip one, skip one single, and then in your next single, you're gonna work two DC cluster, chain two, two DC cluster. So just go straight in, yarn over, insert your hook, Pull up a loop, draw the yarn through two loops on the hook, and repeat that. And that's your 2DC cluster. And then chain two, and work another 2DC cluster in the same stitch. And then skip three, one, two, three, and then repeat that again. 2DC cluster, Chain two, two DC cluster in the same stitch. And now you're gonna repeat that across four more times where you skip three and make your two DC cluster chain two, two DC cluster in the next stitch. Okay, so here's where I am so far. So if you count, you have one, two, three, four, five, six little groups of these two DC cluster, chain two, two DC cluster. Um, going across with uh, three uh, stitches skipped in between. And now you're gonna make your next corner. So you skip one, but you're really just working into the corner. So inherently you're skipping one there. So working into the corner, you're gonna work DC, chain two, DC. And that's where we're getting into a repeat. So we're just gonna skip uh, one stitch and then make our same 2DC cluster, chain two, 2DC cluster, all the way across, skipping three stitches in between. And so I'm just gonna work around these three sides and get back to the beginning. Okay, so here's how it looks when this round is complete. And I went ahead and made a slip stitch into that beginning DC. So I just went into the chain of the beginning DC there with my slip stitch to to uh, close the round. And now we're gonna start round three, which is the last round of the edging. So we're gonna make a slip stitch into the first chain, and then a beginning DC, go straight into your single and then chain, and then chain three, 
and make two DC in the same chain space. All right, so that's our corner. And now we're going to chain three and single crochet in the next chain space. It's a chain two space there. And just repeat that all the way across. Chain three, single in the next chain space. And you're going to do that until you're at your next corner. And I'll show you how it looks when I'm finished. All right, so now I've got my chain three loops here. And I put chain three on the hook again. And then I'm ready to do my corner, which is just 2DC, chain three, 2DC. So a lot of folks say this join looks complicated, but you can see it's really just made of normal stitches. And then it, when it comes together, it does look elegant. Oh, I made a cluster instead of two doubles. All right, there we go. Okay, so now you're just gonna get back into your repeat of chain three, single crochet in the next chain space. And here is how your side is gonna look. So I'm just gonna finish out the next three sides and then I'll show you how it looks when your first square is complete. You're not joining anything on this square, so you're just gonna work this square all the way around uh, without joining anything since it's just your very first square. Okay, so here's how the square looks when it's complete. And I joined with a slip stitch in the first uh, beginning DC here in that chain. And then I went ahead and cut the yarn. So here is the completed first motif. And whenever you do your second square, you're gonna have your square and you're gonna work these first two rounds just like with your first square. So you're only gonna be doing something different on the third round. So I do have a, a motif ready to go that has the first round and the second round complete. And then what you're gonna do is work just one side of the motif on the third round just like normal. So you're not gonna join anything on your first side. So I have my beginning DC, my chain three, two DC in the same chain space, chain three and single crochet in the next uh, chain space as, all the way across till you get to the corner and then chain three, two DC and then chain one. So that's where you're gonna stop. So normally you'd have a chain three corner but you're gonna only work chain one and then the second chain is gonna be a joining maneuver and then the third chain is just gonna be normal. So you're gonna basically join with that second middle chain of your corner. So you've chained one, and now I'm ready to show you what it looks like whenever you join it on to the square that's complete. So I'm gonna turn it this way because this is kind of the way you're gonna work across the side, but just remember this is the top edge of the blanket. Um, so we're gonna turn it this way. So we're gonna join this corner because it's on the outer perimeter of the blanket. We're gonna join it right now immediately. So I'll show you what I mean when I get to these corners and we're gonna leave these unjoined because they're in the center body of the blanket. Um, they're gonna get picked up by the next squares, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So here in this corner, we're gonna go ahead and link up to this other outside corner of the blanket. So you've got your chain one, you're gonna release the loop from your hook like I've done, and then you're gonna insert your hook front to back through the corresponding corner chain space. Then you're gonna grab the loop and pull the loop through. This is called my PLT join. I called it PLT because I just made it stand for pull loop through. So you're gonna pull the loop through to the front and that is what's gonna join your uh, motifs together. Then you're gonna complete that chain. So that's your second chain completed. And then you're gonna chain again. And that's your third chain of your corner. So your first chain was plain then you pull the loop through, make your second chain, and then do your third chain of your, of your corner. So now you can see that the two motifs are linked up. And you're gonna continue along on the motif in progress. Make two double crochet in the same corner chain space on the motif in progress. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my hook out just to show you what it looks like here. So that's how you're looking so far. So I'm gonna keep going. And you're gonna chain three. 
and make a single crochet in the next chain space. All right, so now what we're gonna do is join across in all of these other chain spaces, they're gonna be joined up with their corresponding chain space. So these first two chain spaces here are not gonna be linked up because that's part of the design. So for this part, you're gonna chain one, release the loop from the hook, then you're gonna go into the corresponding chain. So it's not this first one, it's this next one that's the corresponding chain space to the one you're working on. So go front to back and pick up your loop, pull it through to the front, and then finish your chain, and then chain it one again. So you've still got three chain spaces, except for the second one is just, you're pulling the loop through before you make that chain. So now single crochet in the next chain space, on the motif in progress. Chain one, release the loop, find your next chain space, go through and grab your loop, pull it through, complete your chain, chain one again to make the third chain, and then single crochet in the next chain space. And I'll do one more like this and then I'll just show you what we're looking like so far. Pull it through, finish your chain, chain again single crochet in the next chain space. All right, so after this one, I'll back up and show you. That way I join a few so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna elongate this loop so I don't lose it. And here's what we're looking like. So you can see how we're joining in the middle of these chain spaces here with the PLT maneuver. All right, so we're just gonna keep going across, and actually it's just one more that we need here. So we'll join, finish the chain and make one more chain, single in the next chain space. So now if you look at the completed motif, you have your corner chain space and you have this chain space here that doesn't get joined. So this is just like that first one. This is the last chain space of the side. So from here, you're just gonna chain three. You don't join in that one. And then 2DC, chain three, 2DC. All right, and I'll show you why we're not joining up this corner yet also. Okay, so it's gonna look a little weird, but this corner just hangs open unjoined. All right, so this is how you've got your first side joined up. And as far as the remaining sides, you're not gonna do any joining on those because you don't have any adjacent squares to join up to. You've only got this one side that needs to be joined. So uh, just to make sure you can see that this top corner is joined up because it's on the perimeter of the blanket. Anytime you have a join on the perimeter, you link it up immediately. Once you get to these corners, this is the center body of the blanket. So these ones are gonna do an elegant looking crisscross and in order to make that happen, once I join this square on, I'm gonna link up this diagonal. And then once I join this square on, I'm gonna link up this diagonal. And then they're gonna get joined at that time. So for now, we're just leaving them unjoined. And we're gonna work across these other two sides of our blanket, normal without any joining. So I'll be right back whenever that's complete. 